Today I'm going to show you how to upload one of my SVG files to the Cricut Design Space Android app. This phone is a Google Pixel phone, but these instructions should apply to just about any Android phone and possibly iPhones also. I'm going to show you how to set up the score lines because the process of doing that is a lot trickier on the app versions of Design Space than it is on the desktop or laptop computer versions of Design Space. So the first thing to do is of course open the app. And when it first opens up, it should bring you to this page and you need to hit new project. So that's opened up a fresh canvas for us to work with and we need to upload the SVG file. So I'll come down to upload and I'll choose select from photo library. And this is my SVG file right here and the phone is just not showing me what it looks like because the phone can't read the SVG file type, but that is the SVG. And once it's uploaded here, you can confirm that that is the correct file that you were trying to upload. So I'll go ahead and give it a name. And then I need to hide my keyboard. So I'll just press the arrow down here and then I'll hit save. So this page will bring up all of your uploaded images and the most recent one is always the very top left. And I'll choose insert. So now the design is inserted and you can see that when I tap on it, it selects them all together with a box around the entire thing, which means that they are all grouped together. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that the design is selected. If there's no box around it, just tap anywhere on the design and that will select everything. So with that selected, I'll come down here to actions and I'll choose ungroup. So now if I click outside of that, I can tap on each one of these pieces and each one has its own separate box around it which means they've been ungrouped and they're separate which is exactly what we want. So the next step is to go through the design and just look for all the pieces that have score lines. You can tell they have score lines because there's a black line inside of the colored shape. So you can see that these three pieces here all have score lines and then these three pieces here do not have score lines which means those are ready to go and we don't need to do anything with those. So the next thing I'm going to do is just tap the first piece that has score lines and that will select all the layers within that piece. And now we need to open up the layers panel so we can work with the layers individually and this is pretty tricky it can be hard to find, so you just go to this bottom menu and slide it over until you see layers. And then you can see here that there's two green lines here on the very left of this layers panel that tells me that those are the layers that we have selected. So these are the layers that are within this piece here. And you can see that we have two layers here. Each one says cut, and we have this top one which is lines, and then this bottom one which is just the colored shape. Now we need to select just that line layer, that is the score layer. So I'll just tap that and you can see that now that green line is just over this layer. So now I need to come down to edit and over to where it says cut and line type and I'll tap that and then come over to score and then tap this check mark here. So you can see that that layer has now changed to say score and then we have that cut layer below it. So you need to come back to the canvas and just tap on that design again and that should select both layers. You can see that green line is indicating that both of these layers are selected and then come down to this bottom menu and choose actions and choose attach. So that completes that piece. It's all ready to go. And we need to just do that process with the rest of the pieces that have score lines. So this layers panel is kind of in the way here, so I'm just going to tap layers on that bottom menu to get it to go away for a second. And then we'll tap this next piece with score lines. Come back to that bottom menu and choose layers. And we can see now that these two layers are now selected. It does usually bring those to the top also, which helps you tell, but you want to make sure that they have those green lines indicating they're selected. And once again, this top line layer is our score layer. So I'll just tap on that layer and now it just has that green line here. And I'll come down to edit and then I'll tap cut and line type. Come over to score, hit the check mark. And now we can see that that layer has changed to score. 
And so I'll come back to the canvas and I'll tap. The layers panel is again kind of in the way, so I'll turn the layers panel off by tapping layers. Now I can tap on that piece, come down to actions, and choose attach. And now that piece is ready to go. And now we just need to repeat that process one last time on this last piece with score lines. So I'll tap it. We need to bring up the layers panel, so I'll tap layers here at the bottom. You can see that those two layers are selected with that piece this line layer and the yellow layer, and the line layers are score layers, so I tap that. The green line shows that just that layer is selected. Come down to edit, tap cut line type, tap score, tap the check mark, and now we just need to tap this piece again on the canvas to select both layers within that piece, and then we'll and you can see here that they are selected by that green line. And then choose Actions and choose Attach. And so now we can get this Layers panel out of the way. And you can see here that all three of these layers with score lines are set up properly because they have dashed lines where those solid lines were before. The dashed lines just indicate that they are score lines. So this design is now ready to cut. So just click Make It. And this will show us, as you slide through here, each of our mats. And it should be doing those score lines with the cut layer. It should not be separating those. If it's separating them, that means something didn't get attached. A score line layer didn't get attached to the cut line layer. But you can see here that we've done this properly because it has a score line layer with the cut layer. It says it's going to score and cut on that mat. And on this one as well and on this one. So we're ready to go and we can just hit continue. And then you'll go through the process of connecting your machine if you need to and cutting the design. So that is the process of setting up the score lines on Cricut Design Space's Android version. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or send me a message in my Etsy shop. I'm happy to help.